Welcome back. Brian Forcina is joining us this morning from Eureka. Hi, Brian. Hello. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Great. Yeah. Great. We're excited, excited to, to have nachos. you here. nachos. Good. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to be making nachos today, and then we're also going to make a little fun uh, black mocktail uh, for kids' Halloween parties or your Halloween parties. Um, so for like nachos, that. yeah, nachos, there's a lot of different schools of thought on nachos. Some people like to build them as high as possible. Mm -hmm. Some people like to build them flat. I per personally like to build them flat. That way you can get all your good ingredients on every chip. Because then you have plain, plain chips at the bottom usually, right? Yeah, if you, you get the big mound, yeah. then you, get, you don't get everything yeah. on there. So you guys are going to get to build your own as well here. So let's start with some chips. Don't so worry. Do at the same time as yeah, you? Go ahead. Yeah, why not? Okay. We don't, we're not too formal. <laughs> so just you know, everybody just washed their hands before we got out here, so we're looking good. <laughs> All right, so I like to use Cheddar Jack. I just like the blend. The flavor for me is great. Okay. So I start with uh, cheese. That's definitely a must for any nacho. Uh, if you're vegan, go get yourself some vegan cheese. I'm sure you know of a great option that I don't. Yes, yes. Um, and then for me, I really like to have some blackened grilled chicken. So we already have that done. But go ahead and feel free, like I said, to put anything you want on there on yours. Okay. All right, we already have one going in the oven here. You so, can never have too much cheese. Right. I love right. cheese. <laughs> so, so don't mind me. I'm just going to take it I like the movie theater where you get the melted cheese <laughs> oozing all over the place. You like the cheese sauce. That's good. <laughs> That's so, not real, is it? <laughs> it may have started you know, somewhat <laughs> like that. real. <laughs> yeah. So I like to put black beans on okay. them as well. I just think it's got a good flavor and good texture yes. combination. Yeah. Um, so at this point, I normally go into the oven. And some people like to do it on broiler. I like to bake them, that way it spends a little more time in that oven, your plate yeah. gets hot, keeps your nachos warmer, keeps your cheese melted longer, and all your ingredients are nice and heated all the way through. Okay. okay. So, while we have our guy going in the oven. We'll just keep adding things to ours. Yeah. You like beans on yours? You know. Black beans. Black Hi. beans are great. All right, so. They're good for you. Yeah, we're looking pretty good and toasted here. So we have our cheese, we have chicken, Ooh. we have black beans. Yeah. All right, yeah. now at Eureka, um, these are on our appetizer menu, and we do them at happy hour from 2 to 6 and from 9 to close. Okay. Uh, so there's $5 at happy hour. Then we top them off with some fun sauces. So we have some charred tomato salsa. Uh, we actually won best tomato salsa at the fifth annual uh, salsa competition at oh, the, <laughs> yeah, or nice. the North End Organic Nursery. Um, so this one's pretty delicious. And if you want your food to look fancy, you know, invest in the 99 cents for your squeeze bottle. <laughs> so uh, you just give little zigzags here. And you get it even. Sure. It, again, every bite should have every flavor on there. Okay, and then this one's a little avocado tomatillo sauce. So I just zigzag in different directions. Again, okay. just helps it look nice and pretty. Okay. This okay. one uh, we make at the restaurant called chipotle sauce. So it's chipotle, cilantro, garlic, a little vinegar, a lot of ingredients in here. So is this going to be spicy? Uh, no, actually, uh, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of spiciness, okay. but not, not too spicy. And then I like to top it with a little bit of sour cream. Nice. Yep. So, that. here, again, we have more toppers, mm -hmm. so if you want pickled jalapenos or fresh jalapenos, go ahead, yeah. or none. Okay. Green onions, tomatoes, okay. red onions, okay. cilantro, all of it's fun, right? It's all fair okay. game. So, so, tell us about the drink. All right, the drink is delicious. So, um, it's a good one for Halloween because we're actually going to make a jet black charcoal lemonade. So, we start off with an activated charcoal pill. Okay, Jim okay. was worried it's going to stain his teeth, but it doesn't. <laughs> it whitens them. Uh, yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, yeah clears your skin, Good for you. detoxifies you. So, uh, all around, it's a great, great item to have. Okay. Um, so, we're going to use an ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And where would you get one of those? A jigger. Okay. Uh, you can get them at yeah, standard yeah. restaurant supply, not very far from the studio here. Okay. Um, you can probably get them in a lot of grocery stores too, or any of the liquor stores probably have jiggers. So, they have different measurements. This side's an ounce if you fill it, this side's an ounce and a half if you fill it. Okay. Um, so, then we get some passion fruit juice, and we're going to do one ounce of that as well. So that's a pretty easy recipe to make bigger. So if you're going to do a big punch bowl, which is brew, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Put a little dry ice in it. Exactly. Yep. So uh, we just have the activated charcoal pill, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and some passion fruit juice. Uh, and you can probably get that at the co-op. Uh, then we're going to fill our little tumbler here with some ice and water. Okay. And I don't have my whole bar set up in front of me, but we're just going to top it off with some water here. And see, it's already black. Um, but we really want all the ingredients to mix up. So we're going to throw it into a shaker. Okay. And just give that a little pop so it's secure. I don't want to get anything on you guys here. You can dance <laughs> while you're shaking it. Yeah. So that's ready to go. I mean, that doesn't that prep is pretty easy right there, right? Oh, and it, it looks spooky, doesn't it? Yep. So my daughter, actually, for the <laughs> Halloween party we're going to have, uh, she got a... Uh, 
There you go, if you want to try yes, that. Yes, yeah, yeah. She got a little uh, ice cube mold, one of those little mm -hmm. uh, flexible ones, and it's uh, skeleton bones. So she has a whole yeah. big giant container of different skeleton bones ready to go in her witch's brew punch, so. That's so, yeah, that's that's so cute, yeah. yeah. Kids and adults will like this. Absolutely. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks, Brian, for being here. These recipes are online right now at ktvb.com. And those are good, really good. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks.